Apathy might be one of my least favorite feelings ever. Um, you know, when I'm when I'm angry or depressed or upset, I I feel something, right? I feel like whenever I have any of those negative emotions, I am in a state of of feeling something. I don't feel empty or devoid or, 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 or anything like that. I, I don't like feeling those things. Obviously, nobody likes feeling uh, negative emotions. That's why they're negative emotions. But but at least I, I feel something, right? Apathy, on the other hand, is probably one of the worst feelings, in my opinion, because I feel like not caring is not existing. I don't like being emotionless. I don't like not being around. I don't like not feeling like I'm a real person or that the things that are happening inside my brain or inside my heart aren't actually there. So when I sat down the other day to play some Dead by Daylight offline, um, and I realized that my state of being while playing the game was completely apathetic, I turned the game off. I had always said that if the game was ever upsetting me or aggravating me or anything like that, I would turn it off because I don't want to reflect those feelings onto the people around me. Something that I've learned about myself is whenever a game or a person or a thing is upsetting me, I need to distance myself from it, not just because that's what normal people do, but also because it turns me into a person I don't like. Uh, a great example of this is in Dead by Daylight. If I'm at a point where I've been playing the game for a few days straight and every single day has just felt like a bad day on the game and I'm pissed off and I'm upset, uh, the small things start getting to me and I start becoming the kind of person that I don't like, the kind of gamer that I don't like. I start becoming very toxic. Um, every Everything aggravates me. Everything pisses me off. Every flashlight save, every flashbang save, every teabag, every emote, every form of BM, um, everything starts getting to me, right? And so I don't like that kind of person because not only do I become snappy at the game and the people behind the game, but I also become snappy at things like my chat or my fan base, uh, which I really don't like calling you guys fans, but sometimes that's the only word uh, that can come to mind. But when I'm apathetic, I feel like it's even worse than that. Um, when you feel empty, when you feel devoid inside, there's almost nothing that can bring you back from that. And if I'm a streamer, which I am, uh, being apathetic is the worst thing in the world because I just don't care. Nothing affects me. There's no entertainment value there. You can argue, although I would say it's probably not the best thing to argue, but you could argue that playing uh playing while angry at least provides some people with the entertainment value that you are yelling and you are upset and some people like seeing other people upset i call those people fucking weirdos uh but hey some people like seeing others upset but when you're apathetic you're just quiet you're just silent you just don't care and i don't like not caring so when I realized that I was becoming more and more apathetic toward Dead by Daylight, I started thinking to myself more and more, what is it about Dead by Daylight that makes me so apathetic? What is it that completely takes me out of the game and makes me play it in almost a disassociative state? And I realized that what happens or, 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 or what makes me feel that way is the point is, is the fact that everything kind of feels pointless when playing the game. If, for example, I play to the rules, right? The made up rules of whatever side I'm facing against. Survivor, killer, doesn't matter. If I play to their rules and I purposely throw my games and I, you know, whether we win or lose, if I'm playing unoptimally, I will have to inevitably deal with a few things. I will have to deal with a lot of losses back to back to back to back, which is frustrating. I will deal with a little bit of self-doubt and self-hatred because I'm not playing as well as I know I can. And I don't know about the rest of you, but I don't like not performing at what I feel my best is. Um, and 
On top of that, I will deal with the most insufferable human beings on the planet coming to tell me how shit I am at the game and how much better they are than me. And I don't really fancy that. So then I can go the other way and I can play the most optimally I can, which would solve a lot of problems. It would win me more games. I would feel better about myself because I am playing to the best of my abilities. Um, but then it starts to become really frustrating whenever things happen that fuck me over that aren't my fault right so I, I thought about making a video called bugged by daylight where i go through all of the bugs that i have seen just off of the recent patch um but i feel like that video would be like three and a half hours long because there is a monumental amount of bugs i know of i i, I keep up with a variety of killer mains on twitter and Three different killers, Spirit, Knight, and Trickster, have a laundry list of bugs. An absolutely cavalcating, long-ass list of bugs that are ridiculous. And it's not just killer-specific. There are bugs related to the servers. There are bugs related to hit registration. There are bugs related to the maps. There are collision bugs and desync bugs and all sorts of other things. And uh, this buggy state of the game, which I have been told has always been the state of the game, uh, leads to a lot of frustrations. If I'm playing the best that I can, I'm playing the most optimally that I can, I am playing what and doing the right things and making the right decisions, and I get punished because I made the right decisions, but the enemy did nothing, that tilts me, right? When I came back for the mid-chapter patch for one day, I was playing the hillbilly to see how he feels, and I had five different chainsaws in three matches that connected. We saw the blood, we heard the survivor scream, and yet it did nothing. It did absolutely nothing to them. They just kept walking. Um, that tilts me. Right, That tilts me off the side of the planet because I perfected the curve. I did the cross map. I put in the work to get good at the killer, and yet I am not being rewarded for doing so. If you want to say that the point of games is to have fun, I have fun when my hard work is rewarded. I like to put in the effort to get better at something, and whenever I go to do the thing that I am better at, if it does not work properly, it pisses me off and this is actually something that i've been meaning to talk about when it regards to dead by daylight for a while i am sick and tired of the game not functioning properly i can put up with damn near anything i can put up with toxic with a toxic community i can put up with bad balancing decisions i can put up with a lot of shit what absolutely sets me over the edge 99 percent of the time is the game not functioning as intended. If I do an intended action and that action does not do what it is supposed to do, I get irritated. And when it happens every single match, multiple times a match, I start to get pissed. But even if we take that out of the equation, if I continue to perform optimally and I win because I performed optimally and I did the best I can, then I have to turn around and deal with a toxic community who is upset because I, shock of horror, tried to win in a PvP game. And so thinking about how you're kind of in this damned if you do, damned if you don't situation, it started to make me realize that my decisions in the game don't matter. It doesn't matter what I do, doesn't matter how I play, someone is going to be upset with me and I am either going to end up feeling bad about myself because I wasn't trying the best I could, or I'm going to end up getting robbed because this game is built on a pile of Pringles, Pritt stick and somebody's old shoe. And I'm going to start to get really frustrated. And so my options are to either get really frustrated no matter what I do or completely disassociate from myself while playing the game. And I know somebody's going to take this as like, because people are, are very panicky and jumpy about these kind of things. Someone's going to take this as an official, I'm quitting, never coming back. Um, I maintain that I will always have a space for DVD um, until the day I'm no longer playing it. Uh, there, there will uh, 
eventually come a day where I never boot up DVD again. Um, that happened with Apex. It's going to happen with DVD. It's going to happen with every game I play because no game can ever stay in my heart forever. And um, But that day is not today. I just wanted to kind of sit down and talk about how apathetic dbd has made me made me lately and i wanted to see if anyone else has shared these frustrations if anyone else has reached this point where they just feel like there's no point uh in playing the game or am i just alone i don't know let me know what you think down below and as always a great big special thank you to my channel members listed on screen now if you want to find out how to become a channel member today get awesome perks like seeing videos early merch discount codes and more then please click that join button down below i love you guys so much and i will see you in the next one Need more Kaiser in your life? Well, I've got you covered. Check out my second channel, The Kaiser Extras, where I upload full gameplays, stream compilations, me reacting to your Dead by Daylight clips, and more. We also upload a daily short with all the greatest clips from stream. We'll see you over there. Link is in the description.